it was a rough spring, uh, yeah. especially for that community. And then, of course, Johnson County hit again a couple of months later. And yeah. we are in that severe weather season right is, now. And we're season. looking for some storms tonight. No tornadoes, though. No, the tornado threat is really, really low. Okay. Technically not zero, but it's really low. Okay. These are more garden variety thunderstorms, mm -hmm. a little bit weaker. We've got much stronger storms tomorrow, though, that we've got to talk about as well. Very active pattern, Jenny, for uh, the wrapping up Easter Sunday and into next week. In fact, we've got storms possible tonight, storms possible tomorrow and then storms possible Tuesday. This is a very slow moving system, and that's one reason why we haven't been able to initiate anything yet. They are coming, though. These storms are forming in Illinois right now. They'll be moving into central Indiana by about 9, 10, 11 o'clock. Here's a look about midnight. We're expecting those scattered strong storms. You've got to look towards the southeastern ends of some of these. That's where the best chance for some hail and wind would be. So I think the best chance of hail would be closer to I-70. You go farther north where the temperatures are a bit cooler. Just a lot of heavy rain and some rumbles of thunder. That'll continue overnight tonight. Don't be surprised if you're trying to sleep tonight and you're going to hear some rumbles of thunder at times and sometimes some heavy rain. By about 6 Six, seven, eight o'clock in the morning will wrap up this round before another round tries to hit us for your Monday afternoon. But generally overnight tonight, the heaviest rain will be falling kind of near I-70 and then to the north. So Indianapolis, all the suburbs of Indy going to Carmel, Noblesville, Kokomo, we're in that 80% that goes off to the east in Wayne County and back west towards Crawfordsville and then Purdue. Once you go farther south, though, away from this front, the rain chances do start to dwindle as you get closer to Bloomington and Columbus. In this yellow zone, this is the best chance to get a little bit of hail, but we've been shrinking this over time because as the storms are coming in later, they're most likely going to be just a little bit weaker. That's some good news here on a Sunday evening. Storms are still coming, but because they're so late, they should be as bad overnight tonight. But we're still here. Your whole weather team's here. We'll be tracking them throughout the night, let you know if there are any things that you need to know overnight. For tomorrow morning, you'll start off with a quick shower. Lindsay and Chuck will help you get out the door. They'll be tracking some of the leftover rain and then timing out more thunderstorms likely to come in tomorrow afternoon. I think we get a break in the middle of the day before more storms come in to allow the atmosphere to try to recoup just a little bit. So we get rid of the morning rain. It gets out of here. Temperatures warm up with partly cloudy skies. Once we get near 70 degrees, that's when more storms will start to fire. And the first storms are probably going to be the strongest ones. Once they use some of that initial fuel that's out there, we've got several threats coming throughout the day. Later towards sunset, though, look, the rain just keeps on coming. But as temperatures cool off, the severe threat should start to go down. But boy, we've got a lot of heavy rain. It just keeps coming wave after wave. In fact, we could pick up one to two inches of rainfall tomorrow. We're under those severe zones as well. Indianapolis South at level two. You get towards Evansville, though, down up to a level three, but sometimes that gets confusing. So what kind of threats are we talking about for wind up to 70 mile per hour winds from IU South, most of central Indiana up to 60 mile per hour winds for tornado risks. We do have a low risk over central Indiana, but really the higher risk will be farther to the south in the Ohio River Valley and then the hail risk. It's kind of low. We've got maybe up to quarter size hail. That's just barely severe status. If you want larger hail, which of course we don't, that chance is farther south. So overall, Southern Indiana will probably get the brunt of tomorrow's storms, but we're going to get a lot of heavy rain. Jenny, no matter if you get a severe storm or not, you could get one to two inches of rain tomorrow and maybe another half inch on Wednesday. Whew. All right, Matt, thanks so much.